will certainly be a lot of job disruption. Um, because what's going to happen is robots will be able to do everything better than us. I'm, inclu I'm including, I mean, all of us. So, so just, I have one more question before we, uh, we take our two minute break. Um, just a, a side question. Uh, you spoke about Slack and the tools. What's your top, your top line views, uh, briefly on the future of, of jobs? Uh, especially with in this world of uh, d digitization and uh, technology, AI, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Look, I think that in the next less than five years, things will change dramatically. I think that um, we, I don't think anyone quite realizes um, the rate at which um, the changes are now currently um, being. I don't want to say implemented, but the changes that we're seeing in, in the way people work yeah. are so advanced, it's moving exponentially. And um, when you listen to guys like John Sani, uh, 10 specialist, when you start looking at like the fourth industrial revolution, when you start looking at the convergence of AI, tech, the cloud, Sweden has got uh, driverless trucks doing deliveries. So... I think the workforce is going to change. I mean, we're not going to recognize the workforce in the next couple of years. I think that a lot of what people are studying now will become irrelevant, not even, not even worthwhile pursuing. Um, and I think that the world, as we know it, is the, we, we're undergoing dramatic change. You know? So the world of work is definitely changing like a lot faster than what people think. Uh, so based on that, I mean, the workforce is going to change, but do you see um, at an absolute level a loss of jobs or do you see, because I know, I mean, when you, when you read the articles and we balance the views, there's going to be new jobs that are going to be created. And obviously some, a lot of jobs that we currently do are going to fade away. You know, I mean, there's a saying that um, we don't know, what, what is the saying again? That, the the job we're going to be doing in ten years time has not even been invented as yet. You yeah, know? exactly. Um, I mean, look at social media. Just look at social media. Like mm. I think it was five years ago. Like five years ago, it was just people that were kind of like on Facebook posting daily. Yeah. You've got influencers. You've got SEO companies. You've got like campaign managers. I mean, you phone up any company now and you want to advertise on Facebook and Insta and, and have a media package. Mm. You know, those, those businesses literally sprang up in the last five years. And that's not slowing down. You know, so... And do you think... Yeah, sorry, carry on. I mean, I, I had the privilege and the honor of spending time with... who was the CEO of... One of the, the fastest growing and, and biggest banks in, in Africa. And he said that he's got a staff complement of 9,000 people. Wow. And, and he can run. He can run his bank on 3,500 people. Oh, wow. He can, he can literally run the bank on 3,500 people. The problem he has is what does he do with the other people? Does he just then say, you fired? Does he then try and make them entrepreneurs and make them open up their own bank branches? What does he do? You know, because at the end of the day, it's, it's 9,000 jobs, you know, so you're in this position where you can't just sort of chop change and, and, and say, you know what, it's a capitalist society. If, if it's not me, then it's someone else. Because mm. at the end of the day, it's like, what are we talking five and a half thousand miles to feed or, or there are five and a half thousand Families. employed people mm. that have families, you know, so and he's aware of it. And he's like, look, you know, technology is just automating everything so all of the manual call center stuff or i don't know the exact processes but the point i'm trying to make is he went and said you know he's got nine thousand people in the bank and he can run this business using three and a half thousand people because of technology so yeah um look i think we actually probably need another episode just on the future of jobs so on on that note let me let me give you a two minute break and then i will skype you again to let you know when i'm ready um let me just save this and then yeah we'll be back for the second part sounds good cool, cool man, man. Ciao.